to today's Big Brother Canada chat. Hey everybody, happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> I hope this is all keying out okay. I hope so. <laughs> this is episode, you mean you hope it's not keying out? You know what I mean. Episode 7 and LaVita has just nominated Christine and Cassandra. Uh, most of the people in the house are pretty puzzled by this move. Well, most of the people outside of the house are, puzzled are pretty by puzzled, by puzzled by this move. <laughs> Christine and Cassandra are pissed. They are. They have a little bitch session in the bathroom with Maddie. They're like, end I mean, that bitch! If you're going to bitch out about something, you should just go and talk to Maddie because every other word out of her mouth is either F, F or... S. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right. So, Jared is thrilled. He made the cut. He didn't get nominated. Yeah. Or, and, or anybody in his alliance. Well, everybody's like, what? What? Jared, Kelsey, and Raul are like, yeah. <laughs> I think they're a little surprised. I think so. At how dumb that was. And Dallas is like, what the F? What, yeah. what are you smoking up here? So Levita's just like, I don't want to talk about it right now. There's three of them. They're, if I get one out, there's still two going to come after me. Yes. Yeah, so just leave them in the house forever. I know. That was the dumbest thing I've ever heard. All right. Well, Cass calls out Levita. She's like, uh, what are you doing? You were supposed to keep me safe. I campaigned all last week to keep your ass in the house. And Which now is this is what you repay me with? Yeah. So then she's like, am I your target this week? Uh, I'm not saying. <laughs> uh, I don't want to talk about it right now. <laughs> that means yes. <laughs> oh my God. It's time to pick players for the POV. It was super dramatic. Yeah. Levita picked Dallas. Mm-hmm. Eh? Christine picked Jared. Mm. Cassandra picked Ramsey. Who's Ramsey? I feel like we've barely <laughs> seen Ramsey so far. But the bright spot in all this, the host is Tim. Tim. <laughs> all right. All right. So, so this Power Veto competition has an Allegiant theme, the Divergent series. For the POV, they got a little message on the screen in the living room. Mm -hmm. Everyone's like, oh, Allegiant. Tim's it's the third one. <laughs> But what does it mean? They don't know. There's a movie tie-in this week. <laughs> there was also greetings from the loved ones scattered throughout the promotions. Yeah, right? it wasn't it really like "Hi, we love you" kind of messages. It was like there was a script right. that all the family members were reading. It was nice to see the family members because up until this point, we haven't really seen them at all. Yeah, we haven't had any visit home segments no. yet. No. Um, so some of the house guests got a little bit emotional. A lot emotional. <laughs> Raul was crying a yeah, lot. Yeah, Joel was upset. Yeah. All right, well, it's time for the POV comp, and okay. it, it's Allegiant-themed. Did we happen to mention Allegiant's coming out tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? <laughs> yes. All right, so this was an Allegiant obstacle course. You had to rappel down a wall. Uh-huh. Which Christine is terrified of heights. Uh-oh, hot dog. Uh -oh. And then you have to search around this, like, airplane crash to find your puzzle pieces. Okay. Um. <laughs> Bring them back one at a time. Solve And then the complete puzzle. your puzzle. And then climb back up. Yeah. And ring the thing. But you had to get your puzzle I mean, checked before you went back up of anyway. Course. So. So the winner gets the veto plus a screening of the movie. Whoa. I loved when they had this screening the first go-round for the first movie. It was great. Well, we'll see if it's great again. <laughs> so it's time to rappel down, and Christine is stuck on the wall. She is just like... Some people were just like, Pfft, like Ramsey just went straight yeah. down. Yeah, and but then, he knew what he was doing. Uh, maybe he didn't, and that's why that happened. Know. I don't know. But Christine was like, Ugh, and then she like fell back onto her back. Oh. And she was just like, I'm broken. Christine's hat. <laughs> She's Christine limping. Christine is limping. Ooh, she was really crabby, too. Yeah. I mean, some of the people in the competition with her were trying to encourage her. They're like, come on, Christine. She's keep like, going. shut up. She's like, shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear. Shut up. Yeah, it was rough. Oof. Dallas gets stuck at the bottom in of the, the wall harness. in his harness. <laughs> Which is ridiculous because he wears a harness a lot. So For he work. says, yeah. is that how they walk him? I don't know. <laughs> Just a harness, no collar? I don't know. But this right. competition was intense. They had these explosions all over Eight the place. Big rocks were flying everywhere. Yeah. Trevor Sound Boris, effects. great job with this competition. Yeah. yeah. All right. So Christine was dead last. Yeah. Everybody was working on their puzzles. She was still getting her pieces. Christine, five feet alive. Shut up. <laughs> Jared was like, check me. 
Oh my god! He had four out of 18 pieces in the he, right spot. Did he understand that this was a puzzle? Do you know what a puzzle is? I feel like he was just putting the pieces I in. I think he was. <laughs> it, it was like, are you high? Does it look what right? What are you doing? It's nothing! It's nothing! This is not a Rorschach puzzle! No. <laughs> Dallas was like, check me! At least he was close. Yeah, he only had, he got 16 out of 18 the first time he said check me. The two on the end were They reversed. needed to be flipped. Yeah, so then he figured that out and he won the POV. But what the hell was that little victory dance going over to the buzzer? I don't know. Ah! I don't ever want to see that again. And then he kept doing it over and over and everyone's just like. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> so he got to choose three people to get in on the screening and he chose Maddie, Joel, and Levita. All right. For varying reasons. Yeah. I mean, Maddie is in his alliance. Right. Levita's the HOH. And Joel's been have not for two weeks straight. He needs a little food. He needs a little something. He needs a little food. <laughs> All right, so Dallas, he wants to use this POV. Yeah, now that he's got this power, he wants to show a little muscle. He doesn't want to leave it in the box, so he wants to get the brothers out. He wants to make a big move here. Yeah. So he's telling Levita about his idea, and she's just like, mm. I want Cassandra out. That's my target. Yeah. We know. So they're like, you know what, though? We can work with this. We're going to work on her. We're going to make this happen. So right. there's still hope. All right. Well, he's going to work on her at the movie party. And there was S tons of snackies there. <gasps> there was so no bad. crabby snacks or homemades, though. No, but, oh, I think they had those little shark gummies. Those are just uh, so cute. I love those. <laughs> they had plenty of uh, orange soda juice. I don't know yeah, what that was. Yeah, they had was. a lot of soda and stuff, too. All right, so... They had... Did they schedule a dentist appointment after this screening? <laughs> I really I hope mean, so. My teeth hurt just looking at that. But anyway. The movie looked pretty amazing from the little clip that they showed. We have to see the second one before we can see that one. We, lo we love the first one. All right. So, so let's talk about the family dinner. Dinner chat. It's like <laughs> sitting down with your family. Hey, what'd you do today? Hey, why don't you tell me something about you that I might not have known before? Oh, boy. So this is where all the good stuff comes out. Raul stabbed a girl in the leg, grade seven, with a pencil. I can believe that. I love how it's so Degrassi, grade seven. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tim, I'm not sure if this is true or not. I'm pretty sure this is true. How can this possibly be true? <laughs> no, but the way he delivered it, he was like, now... I don't know how many of you know this, but uh, I have a penis piercing, which I did myself. <laughs> oh my God! Everyone was just like, "We still love you, Tim. <laughs> still love you." Oh my God! Levita said, "I'm a stripper." And did you see the brothers' faces light up? Really? Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. She's not really a stripper. Great. Joel was very emotionally affected by this whole dinner. He was very homesick. The next day is his brother's birthday, who passed away five years ago. Very yeah. emoshi. It was nice to see everybody, you know, rally around together him. to support him. Yeah. We love you, Joel. For real, though. He's, yeah. he's a cool guy. He is a cool guy. So, Dallas and Maddie are talking. And, it's uh, back to the game. Yeah. They are thinking, you know what, if we can't get the brothers out, then maybe we should go right for the head of the snake and get rid of Jared. All right, so they tell Evita about this, and she's like, oh, yeah, that's cool and all, but no, I want Cassandra out. And she's worried that this is going to backfire and they won't have the votes, so then Jared will still be in the house, and then they'll all come after her. So she's worried about that. <sighs> They're going to come after her. Either way. I know. <laughs> but even though Levita's like, mm, Dallas could still use the power veto and force her to do something. He right. could. He still has that option. Right. But he, she may put up one of his lines. You never know. As punishment. Right. So it's time for the power veto ceremony. So the pleadings are Christine's like, uh -huh, you've seen Queen Bean. Now, do you want to see Mean Bean? What are they going to do if she goes home? Gonna Who's going to clean? <laughs> Big Brother's going to be handing out punishments. Cassandra, I'll rub your feet and comb your beard. <laughs> and other stuff. Oh. Not really. All right. Well, uh, he does not end up using the power of veto. 
he made a fa he made a point of saying that he did not understand or like these noms. Right. And it's not his battle to fight, so... But it's too much of a risk. He doesn't know what Levita would do if he used the power of veto, so that's that. Right. Either Christine or Cassandra's gonna be going home tonight. Who do you think is going home? Who do you think is going home? I don't know, don't. Alright. <laughs> Let us know in the comments, and until next time, much, much love! love. Edit. <laughs> <laughs>